again if you're new to my channel welcome if you're someone who's been here before welcome to you and thank you for coming back um today i want to show you what i picked up from car boots and charity shops and do a little sales update of what i've actually sold also a few returns uh, oh before i forget i just want to say thank you to sue from sue's uh pulse of shame for doing the show tape for me basically it was a little bit surreal when i, I was watching a video and then she scanned around and oh you know i could see myself on her laptop that was a little bit weird <laughs> but thank you sue thank you for that i have had a few more subscribers since then so thank you very much i'm sure everybody who's reselling in the uk know who sue is anyway but i will put a link below i've got a new chair i don't like it it was my son's my son bought it he didn't like it we couldn't take it apart so we couldn't return it so i've ended up with it I don't like it it's a, it's a gaming chair i'm not a gamer <laughs> i'm not a gamer I don't like it it's not comfy it's too big room small but i'm stuck with it now for a bit so i don't know oh, you can't see it now but there's a pile of stuff down there that i've got that i want to show you and not all of it is clothing <laughs> would you believe it so i'm gonna sort it all out and show you so give us a sec I'll start with the shoes then. Got a pair of Clarks. Clarks. They were four fifty. I think they're new. Can't quite tell. I'll just put warm ones. So they're a little bit granny fine. I'm gonna say they're not mine. Not my sort. I mean, but I'm trying to learn. Just because I don't like them doesn't mean other people won't. So for four fifty, they practically look brand new. So on the same shop, I've got these Lotus Lotus shoes. They were three quid, and they look new as well. Or do they? Maybe worn once. The like material. And I know these carpet handbags are in at the moment, so hopefully that looks a bit carpety. So I've got them, and I got these right, Russell and Bromley. And they were only three ninety nine from a shop that was selling like new look shoes for like six quid and that. So I don't think they realised the brand of these. They look newish, newish, but the mark they've got markings on them. Well, obviously I'll put that on the listings that they've got markings on them. But I think they're really. I know it's not summer now, but somebody might be going on holiday. <laughs> They might like them, but for three ninety nine, I was well chuffed with that. I haven't researched anything at the moment, so I don't know how much I'm going to get for them. So now, my pound shoes. These are only F and F. They're in really good condition, nice sandals. But I just thought I've been trying to get higher brand stuff, but for a quid, I'm I'm going to still drop for fifteen quid or nearly stuff her, because you never know next ones these office ones they've got some weird stainings inside so i might see if i can clean them but they're looking i don't know if they've been worn or not oh yeah you can see now in that light yeah the light's showing it up a bit but up for a quid again i'm gonna try for 15 16 quid or nearly stuff that see how it goes so right i'm gonna sort out the clothes so Clothes are coming now. Anybody who don't want to watch clothes, what I'll do is, when I've gone through this, I'll put the, the time of when the non-clothing stuff comes up. So now here come the clothes. I've upgraded my shop now to a um, featured shop. Not the basic, the one up from there. So obviously, I'm trying to take eBay a bit more seriously as in getting more stuff and putting more stuff on. And I've discovered I don't like putting trousers on. They're just a nuisance because I can't get them on the mannequin and trying to hang them up. Just look, they just look stupid. But trousers are trousers. So I went into my pound shop and ended up buying three pairs of trousers because they're free for a quid. 
so I'm probably going to regret that now but they've actually got a pound on there but the free for the trousers are all free for a pound so I found these jigsaw ones so I've ended up buying these jigsaw ones even though I didn't want trousers so bought them I haven't researched anything so I don't know how to wear so of course I had to buy two other pairs I got these ones I think these are Evans it's quite baggy trousers as well I ended up on two and then these ones I said I got a pound on but they're actually three for a pound River Island so it's 12 so like I said, although I'm trying to avoid trousers, I ended up buying them. But for three for a pound, you can't knock that. When you see my sales video, you'll see why I'm not knocking trousers, although they're a nuisance. I'll show you the ones that I sold within it. Was it a day? I can't remember. Anyway, quick. From the sound shop, obviously. This, I don't think it's a big brand. I'm not sure if it's a catalogue brand. But this coat wider ton. See this red coat? And if you can see it, really nice coat, nice texture, it's heavy. I had to go back with the car, I couldn't carry all the stuff. So that was a pound, I think I best move them because I'm running out of space already. Move them down there. So, right, mint velvet, a very rare see mint velvet anywhere. But found this for mint velvet and it was on the pound. But look at the state of it. It well, it's not showing up so bad on the camera, but it need I don't know if you can see it. It looks like a matted dog's hair, doesn't it? Like a sheep. Matted sheep. But it was a quid. And I thought, you know what? It's mint velvet, it's a pound, it's a little cardigan. And it's got a button. It's got one of them clip things. I thought, oh, Got one of them clips that I can't clip up at the moment. Oh, there you go. Hang on. So, it looks even worse there, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, well, if that don't tidy up, then Charity Shop can have that back. So, the next one, this Sarah. This is from the shop down the road for me that never tells you the price on anything you have to keep constantly asking. So, it's a Zara coat. Is it Zara Basics? Yes, yeah, it's a Zara Basics. So it's another nice, nice short red coat. That was five pounds. So I was pleased with that. So I've got to research that. Everything's fell. It's all fell on the side. I'm gonna to have to pick it up. So next thing, another yeah, another Zara. That was on the pound. Was that on the pound rail? Yeah, that was on the pound rail. It's like um, it's just a padded coat. It's it's quite lightweight. It's not heavy. But for a pound, Zara. <laughs> Coming home with me. Is this the last coat? Yep, last coat. It's a bit grubby, but it was on the pain rail again, and it is, and you can't see it. There's a label somewhere. Hang on, I'm trying to show you the label. Where is it? Hang on, I'll show you it first. Uh, it's a coat, obviously. It's very grubby. So it's going to go after go in the wash. It's Bowden. It's a Bowden coat. I'm going to show you the label. Where is it? Hang on, it's here somewhere. I did spot it. Where is it? Why can't I find it now? Oh, maybe it's because it's there. Bowden. Oh, so it's going to go in the wash. It's really, really grubby. Mm. It's a bit dirty, but I think wash that. Hopefully, I'm gonna, I might have to get some vanish or something round by the colours because that's proper grubby. But hopefully, I'm gonna put that if that comes up nice for about 40 ish. Where if I go, anyway, I'm gonna sort my other stuff out and show you that in a minute. So, we're on to the non clothing stuff. There's only four items, and if I money through them, I fails, but I didn't pay much for them. So the first item I got from a fairly new charity shop, which has opened up not far from me. So they didn't have prices on, so I had to ask and I should have researched it, but 
it was just a bit awkward it's one of them smally tart shops so basically it's a hangman <laughs> i've got a hangman it was 50p which i don't know how many of them it should have but for 50p i thought it's worth a go it looks old i'm not really into games or well i used to be into these obviously when they were about but i don't know if they're sought after item but i thought well it's 50p it's worth a go next item or items i'm classing them as one three for a pound in the pound shop where they shall sell the trousers three for a pound they also sell books three for a pound now these minecraft ones i know they're not worth a lot but i do remember my son having some a while ago and i sold them i can't remember how much i got for them but i've researched again and you don't get a lot for them but hopefully i'll get four of them my pound back so that's another fail. My next fail, well it's not a fail, it's a dirty cup, gotta clean it. I've literally picked these up this morning and it cost me two pounds and it's, it was the a teaser. Basically the car boot down the road, which was an old, um, what do you call it? Um, market, it was the old market. They do a car boot there once a month now. Starts at nine o'clock. I'll get there at nine o'clock. There's only three stalls. This was she was outside of this one, the lady. So ended up buying that because for some reason I thought it was worth something. I don't know why. Went inside. There's another woman with a stall and she had clothes, coats. She had some nice coats on there. And I said to her, "How much is a coat?" Then she asked her husband, "How much for the coat?" Then they went into a big story about how much they paid for it, and she's never wore it and all this, but and. It, just rambling by and i just thought how much is your coat <laughs> just tell me 30 pounds <laughs> no okay bye then <laughs> see ya but i don't mean to be rude but 30 pound for a second hand coat at a car boot now i know we pay that on ebay and we spent that on ebay but for a car boot i thought car boot's supposed to be cheap that's not cheap so anyway that's the only car boot local to me at the moment because obviously they're all closed and there used to be a big massive one in Redditch but when I googled it because I thought I'd go there last Sunday apparently they're not there anymore they're, I don't know why they've been there for donkey years the one Sunday I decided to go they're not there anymore don't know what happened anyway so the only indoor car boot local at the moment is this one so these go for about 10 15 pounds but the other one's look in better condition with it than this one but no to be honest i'm not looking forward to packing it it's big and bulky and my hermes i'm sure they'll enjoy chucking that round of here so okay so it's a little bit of a fail right my next ones are basically in the bag i went to the charity shop and what I bought, not that, no, not this top, this is a top I bought before. This is a monsoon top, got for 3 50 the other day. But I went into St Mary's and while she was serving me, she had all, and I've actually got it on my hands as well now, ink. She said, oh, I've got all ink over my hands. Somebody's dumped some printers outside. She said, no, we can't take them. And I says to her, is there any ink amongst them? She said, yeah, I think so. I meant any boxes of ink. She said, what one are you after? And I'm like, anyone she's like yeah but which one do you want and i'm like i just want to have a look at them and she's like but tell me what number you're after and I, i'll i'll sort them out yeah so in the end i had to admit i just want to sell them <laughs> sell them she's like, oh no no that's fine she's just fine a lot of people do that she's like i'll have a look for you now so so awkward you know in them awkward moments but then i recognized that she used to be the manager in the charity shop local so when we ended up having a conversation about where she used to work before and i recognized her and all that and she was lovely she couldn't have been more helpful but i just felt you know and then we like talk about under the spotlight i'm surprised she didn't like get the thumb screws out of me what do you want them for what's your number so anyway basically she went through the boxes and i've got loads of back full of here of all brands that i don't know of all that stuff like that these i'm going to show you i don't know if you can see this bag well it's all random ones some of them are open some i just don't even i don't even know what's these that one's open so 
on the sealed but going to be clunky so I think these are rubbish I'm not quite sure I might just put them as a bundle for anybody who wants them and also should all some wires amongst them but I don't know if they're sellable or just junk anyway so those are them ones so some of them are leaky and they've got it all over me again so them are them which I don't think are worth it oh three pounds she charged it's just three pounds Look at it, it's everywhere. What about my hands? Anyway, so and then this bag here is full of these. Look, HP ones. There's one, two, three, four, whoop, five down there. Six, seven, eight, nine. Right. But the only problem is, I don't know how long. Now the expiry dates, I don't know if you can see, all the expiry dates are all old on them. 2000, I can't see, I've got my glasses now, that one's 2013. Can you see? It's a, to a, a, what is that, 109, it's got a bit of ink on the front. And the expiry date on that, 2014. How long? I think somebody had sold some expiry ones, but what is the general rule of expiry? Am I going to get them returned? I don't know. I'm really hoping I might put them as bundles. I mean, these are all the same number. I got one at uh, nine oh ones, one, two, three, four of them, and then twenty twos, two of them, and twenty sevens, two of them. But like I said, that one is two thousand and thirteen. Are they still sellable? I don't even know if they're still sellable or whether to just do them as a job lot for somebody else to sort out. But they're still sealed but for three quid it was kind of worth the awkward conversation with the woman because i've never had to tell anyone before i mean i've had one woman question me in the shop about all my shoes do you know these are all different size shoes and i'm like yes i know she's like are you sure you want them because they're all different sizes and i'm like yeah yeah that's fine but this woman was so oh, it was just awkward but i says what's that got out the way the awkwardness was done she was more than happy to get rid of these so if anyone could give me some advice on is it even worth putting these on i mean for, they only cost three quid for all this lot is it worth putting these on and then other dodgy ones i don't even know anything about is it worth putting these on i don't even know what they are please let us know in the comments thank you so i'm going to do my sales video next so it's coming now. Right, so this sales video is from the 1st of October to today's date, which is the 20th. And somebody's drilling downstairs now, so if you can hear any noise, <laughs> don't know what they're doing. I'm not asking. Anyway, right, so I'll start off. I don't know how to screen share, so what I'm going to do is basically put the picture. What well, I think I did that before, just put the picture there so the first item is a pair of rab trousers that i got from the free for a pound shop and i only knew these were worth something because liam buys rab stuff so otherwise they just would have looked like really thin trousers so i put them on for 24.99 and they sold on the same day so i don't know if they're undersold but i don't care i was just pleased i got I was well chuffed with that. So next item is this phase eight jacket, which I took. I think I took an offer for six fifty. I can't even remember how, how long and how much I paid for that. But I just, you know, when you just want to get rid of stuff. So that was that. So the next item is a next uh, jacket, crop jacket. I sold that for twelve ninety nine. Again, I can't remember when I got it from and how much I paid, but I know I made a profit on it. So next item is a pair of Clark's um, kitten heel shoes. Sold them for $12.99. I was happy with that. They've gone. Next item, a pair of uh, ladies hotter um, shoes. Bought them from that new shop for £2. Sold them within a day or two for $24.99. Within the day that they got them, I got a return request. Well, you know, as you know with eBay now, they don't even have to tell you. It just automatically does it. I think you have to go into your settings to change it, but they just said they didn't fit. So I didn't have to pay return postage. So they're actually in the box there. 
they've been relisted. I've got to put them back up in their lots. So it's a bit annoying. I was chuffed when they went quick, but they come back now. These hotter suede shoes, uh, suede boots as well. I, hadn't, I can't remember if I got them from the same shop. I think I only paid about three pound. Can't remember, but they were. I'm sure they were brand new. Sold them for twenty six ninety nine. I had them on less than a week. I was well chuffed with that. The next one is this Dorothy Perkins top that I showed in one of my videos that I'd actually bought for myself. I thought it was a size 12 because they'd put size 12 on in the charity shop. It was brand new with tags. It was actually a size 18. It fitted all right, actually. But when I afterwards, I thought, no, I might as well just sell it on. Anyway, I described it as a dark red. I don't know if I'm bloody colour blind or something. But the lady contacted me back says, it's not dark red, it's burgundy. So I'm like, okay, do you want a part refund? So I think I sold that for £12. Was it twelve fifty? I've got it here on my phone. I gave her, I said, would £4 part refund be acceptable? She's like, yeah, sorted. So I'm like, yeah, brilliant. Bye-bye. I don't want it back. Next one is some perfume. This is my perfume. I, I think I'd had it bought me. I sprayed it once. I wasn't keen on it. So I sold it for £4.20. Hermes managed to lose it. So I've got to chase, I've had to give a refund, so I've got to chase Hermes for a refund for that. Um, yeah, for a refund for my money, I don't know. So I've got to sort that out. These phase eight um shoes I only sold for £2.99. I got these from the pound shop. They wasn't in brilliant condition, but I think I sold them on an auction because I just wanted to just attract some people to my shop to get, you know, to get some stuff moving. Again with these Evan shoes, I sold them for £2.99. Buyer made me wait about a week before they pay, but in fairness, they did send me a message telling me when they're going to pay. And I'm like, thanks, okay. <laughs> so I think I sold them in an auction. So, again, only cheap, but I was just sometimes you just want to get rid of stuff. These other phase eight shoes sold them for $5.99. As far as I know, I haven't had no feedback, so hopefully they're keeping them. These Kurt Geiger shoes I sold for £25. I can't remember where I got them from, but. I know I made a profit. I wouldn't have paid more than five, six pounds for them. These Ugg wellies, they're there as well because they've been returned. Buyer sent me a message. I was scared to look at the message because it I sold them for forty pound. I must have done something wrong with my eBay settings because I had them up higher and it automatically accepted a forty pound offer. So I've got to look into what I've done wrong there. So they're back now. The buyers paid the post, they said they were lovely but too tight. So they sent them back. I had to pick them up at this sorting office yesterday. So they're back and I've actually put them up for hire now. So, you know, one of them where you get a message and you know it's a message about an item you sold and you're almost scared to look, aren't you? So, yeah. So they're back. So they're back on again. So they've come back in the same condition. They haven't worn them or anything. So I can't complain, but I will. This um, leather jacket, I'm sure I shared that in one of my hauls, sold that for £29.99, so I was happy with that. This uh, long blouse, this, that was actually given to me by my sister-in-law. It was a lovely blouse, but I find cream and beige colours, I'm pale anyway, in case you hadn't noticed, and it really made me look even paler, so I sold that for £6.99. Phase 8 dress, this was a, a dress skirt. I got that down at 16.04. I think they've done that on the 30% um, sale. I don't know why I've done 30. Should have just done 10, but for some reason, I worry it's 30, but I was just glad to get rid of it. This Sean the Sheep with his um, Christmas jumper, I had an offer of £8, so I basically let it go at £8 because quite a few people have got them on, so I was just glad for any offer. These Hush Puppy um, boots, Welly, sold them for. Got down here is twenty four forty nine, which I must have done me a thirty percent offer on that as well. So touch wood, I haven't heard back about them, but as you know, they've got thirty days to return stuff now. Thirty days is a long time. These Nike classic clever um, trainers, these were in the charity shop, and I think somebody had actually hid them because where all the shoes were, they were like on the floor, tucked round, and I just spotted the back of them. And when I seen them, I was well chuffed. And so I think somebody offered me 45, so I accepted them. I'd literally, I'd had them less than a week. So I could have held on, but sometimes you just want to just get stuff moving, don't you? This um, green dress, I think this was one of the ones that I bought from myself from eBay. And then tried it on, it looked bloody awful on me. So that went for 9 50 This job lot of, um, is it like um, 
what do you call um card making equipment i got them from the charity shop i i did put them quite high and just had no interest at all when i done my 30 percent somebody put me an offer for 25 pounds because I put a mess thirty percent off, and then I forgot I left my all nearest offer on as well. So like I'm like, you know what? I've had them a while. So I was just and they've left me positive, so that's good news. These Russell and Bromley shoes, I'm puzzled about these. They actually left me feedback on the day that I posted them. So whether they've left feedback for the wrong person, so they're for nineteen pounds. So I'm really hoping they don't come back. It's nice to see a positive, but I'm like, you ain't had them yet. Uh, this per una um suede coat got this from the charity shop down the road i bought three coats in one go and they uh, charged me a tenner i was really pleased with it and then when i come to take the photos there was a little tiny hole on the back and it had no washing labeling so i took a picture of the hole and put a note about it and i also managed to find exactly the same coat on ebay and they got the washing label so i copied the washing label and did actually put the washing label has been removed this is a stock photo i called it so they were aware that it didn't have it on but they've left me positive feedback i bought so i paid 10 pounds for free so what's that three pound odd you know the math so and sold that put that on on the sunday afternoon sold it on the evening so i oh, wow chuffed with that that was really good because i hadn't even put it up in the loft yet so i was proper pleased with that you can't you can't moan at that can you that that's amazing imagine if you had that with everything it, your life will be sorted wouldn't it these sketches um trainers sold for 17 pound 49 i bought these the same time there were some brain ones as well so please i've had them gotta be a couple of months now so these um posted posted <laughs> carver <laughs> sandals i've had a return request for them so i'm waiting for them to come back that was 10 pounds now I'm waiting for them to come back. So my next item is these horrible, shouldn't say horrible, these not very nice hotter shoes. So I sold them, I think I paid about £4 and sold them for £29.99. So I was more than happy with that. Please excuse me one moment. Sorry, I'm back. Got a runny nose. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? As soon as the camera comes on, my nose starts running, which is a bit weird. Right, this Minecraft um little game this is one of my sons for his playstation vita thing i don't even know where i put it now i've got to sell that but i don't know anything about technical stuff i took it to the cex shop and they wouldn't take it because they said some battery or something was missing so i've got to look into that so that's still waiting to be sold but anyway they were free he had free games with it so i sold the one 11.99 so I'm happy with that. And the next item is the Dorothy Perkin wedge heel shoes. I took her off for £10. Because like I said, sometimes I just, I just want, you know, when you haven't had a sale for a few days, you kind of think, if something sells, and I'm sure it is true, like this thing people say, more things show up and they sell, you do tend to sell a couple more things afterwards. So I've had quite a few sales. So I've had all them sales and I've had free returns, free shoes. Which nothing they've never said they haven't said nothing's wrong with them, just that they don't fit. So if they don't fit, they don't fit. That's why I'm more concentrating on coats. Cause I'm thinking with coats. If you like me, I always go for a size bigger with coats because I'm like, well you you know, you just put a jumper underneath or whatever. But with shoes, if a pair of shoes don't fit, it doesn't fit, does it? You're stuffed, you can't make a pair. I mean if they're a bit bigger, you can put some socks on, but so I'm I'm just looking through yeah, I'm quite, uh, that coat as well that M and S coat I was well chuffed with that twenty nine ninety nine I think somebody else had um, the exactly same one for thirty odd pounds different size so it was quite small actually I'm sure it said medium but I've put it on and I couldn't do the thing up so I did put it I think I put I described it to describe it as a ten right from the page. Yeah, I described it as a 10 or 12 because it, uh, it said medium, but it's like very small medium. So, yeah, that's it. That's all my sales for this month up until the 20th. And like I said, I've upgraded my shop. So at the moment, I'm trying to get loads of stuff. I've even gone through my shed and got rid of some of Sully's old toys that I just dumped in there. Like, you know, I don't know why I put them in the shed, but I've got them up for sale as well. Because I thought even with stuff with bits missing, somebody might want them as spares and repairs. So 
just keep going basically just keep going to the charity shops keep picking up bargains so that's it so thank you all for watching thank you to everyone who subscribed if you've got any comments or suggestions please leave them below but yeah i hope all your sales are doing well i hope you're getting some good stuff at the car boots if you've got any car boots through by you because i've got bugger all round here <laughs> apart from the one down the road with the, all of the free stalls in them i think i'm gonna have to look a bit further afield because i'm struggling with the charity shops i'll go in one and you find a real bargain and then you go in the others and you see some of the prices of stuff and you're like jesus <laughs> it's a bit pricey but there you go that's life in it so again sorry rambly thank you all for watching thank you to everyone who subscribed if you want to follow me on instagram my instagram name is the same as this under the brummy i've hardly got bugger all on it at the moment but if i get more followers i don't really know how it works i think it's more of a photo sharing thing but if anybody does want to follow me just i think you just put in my name down the brummy and i'm there <laughs> that's it okay thank you bye